Thank you for taking time to listen to the 39th Street Church of Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is Find the Breaker by Jack Williams. Let me read you a passage. In the book of Proverbs, the 26th chapter and verse 20. He says, Where no wood is, then the fire goeth out. Where there is no tailbearer, the strife ceases. You know, we look and we realize that for any fire to exist, you have to have a source, kindling, something causing the fire. Well, I'm over at the church building right now just waiting for things to air out because we found that out. Smoke was here. Thankfully, there was uh, several here working for Bible class materials and such, and uh, they smelled something. Well, it ended up the fire department, everybody came, but eventually what we had to do, they identified it as an electrical fire and we had to go in and find the breaker flip off the breakers till we got the right one to stop that kindling that source for the fire to exist but once we did that fire ceased and it's just a matter of fixing the motor but you know in our lives we need to realize that sometimes if you're like me need to find the breaker turn that off because our tongue, as he said in Proverbs, the 26th chapter in verse 20, says a tailbearer. In other words, this little instrument here in my mouth, I can do things with it that cause strife. I can speak those things that are harmful, that cause trouble. And the writer says where there is no tailbearer, where that, that tongue, the breaker's clipped, it is not going to go on anymore, then the strife ceaseth. Well, you know, you look and you find in the book of James, the third chapter, verse five through six, we find the, the tongue is a little member. Behold the great things. But he says that the tongue itself is a fire, a world of iniquity. Well, that's the uncontrolled tongue. And we need to realize how that danger is there. How many problems have we seen that began with somebody not controlling this tongue, not flipping the breaker and saying, that's not going to continue on? Strife, discord, discouragement, heartache. People, sometimes we can be guilty of letting that kindling go forth and cause problems. Well, of course, God has a much better idea. You know, just like electricity. Electricity is great. Glad we got it. Otherwise, I'd be sitting in the dark right here. But it's got to be used properly. Same thing with the tongue. I need to turn the breaker on to stop it when it's bad. But whenever it's good, just leave that breaker on. Just leave it flipped on and don't stop. You look in the book of Colossians, and you find there in chapter 4, in verse 6, where the writer tells us, Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. In other words, I look and, and this little instrument can do so much damage. Think of the good that it does. As I speak to others, as I use it in the proper way, the writer in the book of uh, Titus in the second chapter, there he tells him, speaking specifically of young men, but of course the principle applies to us all, he says, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine, showing thyself uncorrupted, as gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil, evil thing to say of you. You see, just like that problem we had, that which was good turned to evil. We had to find the breaker, turn it off. Well, God says you and I have the ability to use our tongue for good. Think of the good things that are done by the sweet words of a child of God wanting to speak those things that are seasoned with grace. Sometimes, though, I need to look. Thoughts come into mind, and before they reach this little thing here, flip that breaker, turn it off. Find the breaker if you need to. Turn it on for the good, turn it off for the bad. We can go out and make a difference. Instead of kindling a fire, we can kindle goodness. Hope you have a good day and do that very thing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. 
Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.